Hello, welcome back to Off Grid Style. I'm Nikki and I am so glad to have you here as always. Today we are going to be talking about 13 crucial items that you need to have in a wilderness survival kit. These are things that are, are not ifs or maybes, these are must haves. So let's find out what those items are. Let's get started. Essential components for wilderness survival, 13 crucial items. Venturing into the wilderness demands more than just a need because of SHTF. It requires meticulous preparation and a well-equipped survival kit. We are going to look at 13 crucial items to add to your wilderness survival kit. Remember that this kit of tools can be placed in an airtight container or tote and buried in the woods in case the time comes you need to bug out. First up, let's talk about navigation tools. You're going to want to make sure you have a map and compass. A detailed map and a reliable compass are indispensable for navigating through unfamiliar terrain. Be sure that you know how to use a compass and read maps to enhance the effectiveness. First aid essentials. You'll want to have a first aid kit. Your comprehensive first aid kit should include bandages, antiseptic wipes, pain relievers, and other medical supplies. You'll want to tailor the kit to your specific needs and consider any pre-existing medical conditions. You'll want to have signaling tools in your kit. You'll want to have a signaling mirror and it doesn't have to be big. A signaling mirror with a reflective surface can be used to attract attention from a distance. Also, take the time to learn basic signaling techniques, including Morse code, to communicate messages. You will need fire starting tools. You'll need a fire starter, or also called a ferro rod. Reliable fire starting tools like waterproof matches, a ferro rod, and a lighter are essential for warmth, cooking, and signaling. Make sure you also pack fire tinder like cotton balls soaked in petroleum jelly for quick ignition. Water purification. You will need at least a couple different water purifiers. Ensure that you have access to safe drinking water by including water purifiers and water purification tablets. Familiarize yourself with local water sources in the area that you will be going to. Multifunctional tools. You will definitely want a multi-tool. A multi-tool combines various functions like being able to cut, screw something in, and opening bottles into a compact device. Opt for a high-quality multi-tool with durable blades and versatile features. Cutting and processing tools. You will need a folding saw. A folding saw is crucial for processing wood for shelter, fire, and tools. Select a lightweight and durable saw that easily fits into your kit. You'll definitely need a knife. A sturdy fixed blade knife is a versatile tool for cutting, hunting, and general survival tasks. Keep your blade sharp and learn basic knife skills for safety and effectiveness. Cordage and fishing tools. You will want cordage. Strong and lightweight cordage, like paracord, has numerous uses, including shelter building and gear repair. Familiarize yourself with various knots for different applications. Fishing line and hooks. Compact fishing gear, including fishing line, hooks, and small lures, can provide a sustainable food source. Learn basic fishing techniques and identify local fish species. Shelter essentials. Obviously, you need to worry about shelter. Lightweight and compact shelter options, such as a tarp or emergency bivy, provide protection from the elements. Practice setting up your shelter in different conditions until you master this skill. Thermal protection. Solar blankets. Reflective solar blankets help retain body heat and provide insulation in cold conditions. 
Use them as an additional layer in your shelter for increased warmth. Illumination tools. Flashlights and headlamps. Reliable lighting is essential for nighttime navigation and activities. Pack extra batteries and consider solar options as well. All right, well, what did you think? Do you have all these items? Are you set with your wilderness survival kit? Interesting question. Do you have a separate kit for wilderness survival in case you have to bug out and you know you're going there versus going to a safe house or another location? Do you have a separate small kit for that? Or is it all put into one bug out bag? How do you do it? I'm curious to know. Please comment. Let me know. You know I'll answer back. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you again soon.